Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect the PlayStation 4 controller to your iPad Pro. So keep in mind, you do need to be running a new version of iPadOS, iPadOS 13 or later. So let's check the firmware, we do that by going into settings, general and about. So check the software version here, if you're on any older software version, go to software update, upgrade to the latest version of iPadOS before continuing. So in order to connect the controller, go to the settings app, tap on Bluetooth, and make sure Bluetooth is turned on and you see now a discoverable as. If you don't see this, turn off Bluetooth, turn it back on. From here, we now need to turn on our PS4 controller. Keep in mind, this may also turn on your play, uh, PlayStation 4 you know, console, but that's okay. So my uh, controller is dead, so I'm just gonna put it into the charger here, okay? And from here, I'm gonna move the camera down because the charging cable is so damn short. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to do the following key combination. So you see the share button and the PlayStation button. We're going to click and hold these two until we see white blinking. So there is this slow white blinking here. We want this fast white blinking. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold these two buttons together. We're going to keep them held down. Don't release the buttons. Keep it held down, keep it held down. And you see this? Little blinking like that. That's what you're looking for. Now on the iPad Pro itself, you're going to see DualShock 4 wireless controller. Tap on it, and give it, and boom, there you go. You can see it's connected successfully. So give it a couple of seconds, that's what I'm trying to say, and then it should be good to go. So a couple of things. First of all, if that didn't work, you tried it, doesn't work, restart your iPad Pro, turn off the controller, turn back on the iPad Pro, turn back on the PS4 controller, try again. If that still doesn't work, make sure the PS4 controller is in parent mode like you saw earlier, and then while you're here, Go to Wi-Fi, then go back into Bluetooth, and that will refresh the Bluetooth uh, search. So if your PS4 controller wasn't showing up, that will fix it. If that still doesn't work, you will need to upgrade to the latest version of iPadOS. If that still doesn't work, your iPad Pro is too old. If you've gone through all of that and actually know your iPad Pro isn't old enough, you're on the latest version of iPadOS, iPadOS 13 or later, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to connect the PS4 to a charger, like I am, connect the, uh, do the, do the uh, steps in the video, and then that should work. The reason why it wasn't working in that case is because your PS4 controller is dead, like mine is. When you connect it to the charger, it has juice in order to connect. Now keep in mind, not all games will support the PS4 controller. If you want a game which does support the controller, download Call of Duty Mobile or Minecraft, and you'll be good to go. So that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.